everyone welcome to the expressions craft youtube channel this is madhurima here and today i am going to share a monochromatic mixed media wooden panel with a shaker element sounds fun let's begin first of all i will start with prepping my base that is a mdf panel with a couple of coats of white gesso to add the first layer of texture i would be using a stencil along with a combination of mixed media stencil paste in the shade pastel prism and mx metallic stencil paste in the shade pearl with the help of a palette knife i will randomly smear the paste over the stencil to create these beautiful diamond textures Next, I will add the crackle textured paste in few places again randomly with the help of a palette knife. It is ideal to dry the crackle paste naturally to get lovely cracks on your project. Next up, I will be using a 3D window chipboard from Expressions Craft to create the shaker element. For that, I have painted the window with shades of dark blue using both sprinkle mist as well as blue chalk paints. Drawing the colors in between is very important if we aim to get individual shades of colors. Now with the help of a sponge, I will add a more distressed look by adding a lighter shade of blue chalk paint. And finally, we'll add the crackle textured paste for a more weathered look on the window. I'm extremely sorry, here I've lost a part of the video, but I will quickly explain what I have done so far. So, on the textured panel, I have sprayed the Imix metallic sprays in the shades Waikiki Bay and Glorious Sky and have them dried thoroughly. Then, to add more shadows, I will be using the Silver Night metallic spray here and there and will dry it. The specks of silver and the dark black pigment gives a beautiful sheen to the project when seen in person. If you are interested to know how I have transformed the 3D window to the shaker element then do let us know in the comment section and I will be pleased to make a more detailed video on that. Now. 
I will be coloring a few clay embellishment with the same shades of dark and light blues. Using a sponge, I will be adding the lighter blue color over the embellishments. Next, using the pearl stencil paste, I will add more highlights to the embellishments. Now it's time to adhere all the pieces and figure out the composition. To add more layers, I will be using the expression scrap chipboard. This first one is the broken tiles. Next is the pollen flowers. Then my absolute favorite one that is the old swirls. Look how beautiful and integrate the details are. I absolutely adore it. And finally some tropical leaves. Also, along with the chipboards, I will be using the handmade flowers, all in the shades of blue as well. And these gorgeous now to add color to the chippies. I will be using two shades of embossing powders, one in cool aqua and another a much darker shade that is true blue.
This is a great way to add colors to your chippies without the worry of keeping in mind the color wheel and deciding which color would go well with what so that you don't end up making a brown. Let's build the composition. Try to alternate the layers so as to create some visual interest. In any kind of composition, it is always a good practice to place the larger elements first and then fill in the gaps with the smaller ones. In every composition, it is always important to maintain the balance. So here, I am creating a small flower cluster at the upper left hand corner. Now I will be colouring some of the die cuts to add as fillers in the composition. Here I have tried to keep the palette very monochromatic with just shades of blues, white and black.
Finally, I will add a few deco stones in the variant micro and mini along with some pearls and glass nuggets to finish off the project. I hope you all like my project today. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more such tutorials. See you all soon. Bye.